Welcome back to the stank. <sighs> yeah. I, I sound like I just relieved myself. You do a little bit. You do a little bit, but welcome back to the stank. I think this is number 37 or something. I shit. believe 37. Yeah. Do they, the, uh, this Sean Alexander, 2006, Sean Alexander, that guy was a problem. Let me tell yeah. you. Great Madden, great Madden cheat guy. That game was the most broken truck stick in any game ever. He would run over entire teams. Literally. I remember I did my, like, I created a player and I had him go to, I forgot who he got drafted by. It might've been like the Giants or someone. Yeah. And I would just truck stick everyone. I had like, no joke. I had like 800 yards a game and like 48 touchdowns by like game six. Really? That was a cheat code. But I also played on like rookie difficulty. Yeah. Those were the good days where you could get away with just being like on rookie difficulty. Yeah, it was good. It was yeah. great. The good old days. The good old days. When we didn't have to worry about this. Um, no, we did not. How are you? We're doing good. We're hanging out. We're both Robe boys today, which is nice. Robin. Damn right. Josh Robin. <laughs> Shout out. Shout out. Uh, uh, babe, I think you got an email if you want to come check. Check your emails, all your work emails. Bear with me. If Becca's... Uh, hunched over me uh it's not because she loves me in it, like unbelievable amount and she wants to be with me forever and she has basically signed away her right to be a single person and will live with me forever it's because she's checking her emails it's oh. twerk it's twerk related it, it is twerk related as everything in life is everything's twerk related everything is twerk related how you got how you doing baby girl she's wearing a sweatshirt inside out so she's having an awful day oh so she's stealing my entire swagger Oh, yeah, that's right. Danny does that. Danny started wearing sweatshirts inside out. Do you secretly watch Danny's stuff, like, without me knowing? No, I've been doing this for ever since you've known me. She's a liar. It's swag. Tell, tell her she has drip. Uh, he said you have drip. Hey, I don't know if that's, like, a some sort of medical condition you need to worry about, but... No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. And you're wearing... Wait, so you got hat and robe on? Hat and robe. Going hat God. robe. God damn. Robe? I style change. Chest hair. Yeah, the chest hair is something I need to get on. I don't have any. I wish you had more chest hair. I have like six. Can you see them? Show, let's show the brand just so we don't get in trouble. So Daddy. We, we are not Daddy's favorite people as of late. No, no, no. But the good thing is that I know he'll never yeah. watch this. So He doesn't watch the show. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> not at all. <laughs> not at all. Doesn't watch the shows, which is great. But there is a show that we both watch. And uh, so does everybody else in the world. And a lot of people have been DMing me asking us to do this. And it is the office episode bracket. As you yeah. know, there was no March Madness this year. Yeah, uh, which I don't really care about because I'm not a big college sports fan. Uh, I'm a big uh, degenerate gambler. <laughs> so uh, I miss it. But my bank account does not as well. Yeah. I'm, wait, look, we're all better off because we can't gamble on things. Not that I do gamble. But From time to time, life is a gamble. Life is a gamble. Go into the store, fucking gamble. Yeah, dude. Yo, I, I was riding a, a Revel. Do you know the Revel, the, the scooters? No. So you can rent scooters in Queens now that are sit-down scooters. Oh, I didn't. Is that like um, like, how, like how they had them in uh, in Austin? No, no, no. Like Vespas. Like Vespas. Like like little Italian men. Wow. So I was riding one of those, and I went live on Instagram, and I was like, oh, dang, this is so irresponsible. What do you I was going to get toilet paper, and I had gloves on and a mask. And I was like, yo, unless one of you wants to come here and bring me toilet paper, how the fuck else am I supposed to get this toilet paper? I hear you, man. I hear you. Some legend a couple of weeks ago tried attacking me on Twitter, saying that I was ignorant and didn't know what I was talking about when I was referencing that construction sites are not essential. And he was like, stop spreading rumors. Uh, there's no, like, COVID on construction sites right now. And I was Lattice like, 47. Like, you idiot. I literally, on top of working on construction sites myself, my entire family does. Yeah, dude. I love, I love being, like, I love stupid people that try to attack me. Because I just murder them. In my head. Not in real life. You know? I th but, it, yeah, no, it's, it's cool to be able to murder someone in your head. You know what I'm saying? I have thought of every bad thing I can do to anyone in my head. Yeah, dude. I've thought about killing people so many times. Crushing them. Absolutely murdering them. Like, just killing people. Yeah, because you don't realize the power you have, not only in your thighs, but in your hands. I'm more like, I more want to kill someone with my thighs, though. Really? That's a cooler way to, like, break their neck, like, like Steven Seagal. 
Or like a, wait, is there a, a movie where Steven Seagal thighs someone to death? No, no, that's more like a badass woman like Trinity from The Matrix. Does she do that? No, but like she would be somebody that ah. would break someone's neck with their thighs. Well, all, all these head scissors things that Scarlett Johansson as Black Widow does, you would assume that at one point she would just, those thighs would just fucking thundercrack someone's skull. That movie's going to suck ass. Ah! I, I, I keep trying to think that it's going to be cool. Like, I wanted to say something else. Like, David Harbour could, like, potentially, like, save the movie. So, I thought about it for a second. But it's, I don't think it's going to be very good. Yeah. So, I mean, before we get into the bracket, we, there was some stuff that we said that we wanted to talk about. And and all these Disney delays are are one of them. Um, you know, on top of Black Widow, it looks like everything has been pushed back, at least indefinitely. I think they gave Black Widow, like, a November release date. Yeah. And fucking Last of Us 2 and the video game. Video games, TV, video games. Maybe video game movie too. Um, of all things to delay though, like, why a video game? Because it's a pandemic s video game, and it's fucking SJWs all out there, and it's PC as shit, and people don't want to see a pandemic video game. Probably is that really what it is? It has to be. What else would it be? And then I also I mean, I probably people can't come like... in. The, what people can't come into the office to work on a computer? But the thing with that stuff is, I would assume that there is some way that they can get around that. You know what I mean? Like working from home, you know, uh, getting computers and that stuff at home. I assume these giant programmers like have some sort of technology at their home. If not, they can get some stuff to them. But I think Naughty Dog has like a bad reputation about like how much they work their people though. Yeah. I think I remember hearing that they like on top of like making them work crazy hours, they like make them work with like, you know, like spike bats up their ass or some shit like that. Yeah. yeah. They make them do like a weird shit. So maybe they were just like, yo, we'll shut it down. Hold on one sec. Do you mind lowering that? I don't know what's playing. Is that the TV? Yeah, yeah, I can hear it. Thank you. Sorry. Is that, um, the, new, is that the new Drake album? Was that the new Drake album? Babe? I'm afraid it, it was TikTok. Yo, TikTok is kind of big. I kind of like talking. You like TikToking? See, like, I kind of like... I, I throw, like, uh, satire as talks out there, but TikTok has funny shit on it. Oh, I... I mean, look, there's some funny stuff on TikTok. Becca has been watching it, and I'll, like, be laying with her, and she'll pull it up and watch it. And some of, there's some funny stuff. I mean, I think that it's just, n like, 99% of the time, it's just, like, boys, like, oh, what's popping? Uh, you know, fucking... What's popping? And it's just like, I can't, you I can't. You don't think Puerto Rican boys are cute? What's yeah. popping? Yeah, you know, the ones that's like, or the one that where it's like, I've been dating this person for four years and it goes like, and it's like, just like them, like holding hands and shit. Did you participate in the first picture challenge? I don't know what that is. Oh, I think Becca did. Becca posted a picture of us. Fun fact, not our first picture she posted. No, 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 no. You got to go with a nice one. She went, And it was a beautiful picture. I mean, every fucking every picture of us is great. <laughs> yeah. yeah. There you but, go. I, uh, that'll, win, that'll win you some points. I mean, I, I, I am the unlimited point getter. You're, you're a god. I am a god. Uh, but yeah, so I, I don't know. I, I'm kind of bummed that Last of Us was delayed because why do that? Like, if anything, if any industry is thriving right now, it's video games because people are just nonstop playing. Yep, that and streaming services, I guess. Yeah, I would, I would assume that both of those, I mean, no one is, and alcohol. People that drink are yeah, getting a yeah, lot yeah. How's the drug industry going? I should probably ask some drug dealers. Any drug Go dealers out there? What's going on? It's going well. Yeah? Do you know firsthand? Good for you, Danny. Get those bucks, dog. You got it. Um, but, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of bummed that all these movies are getting pushed back. Like, the, weird, the thing that's weird, though, is they left – they have a Pixar movie coming out in June, and they, like, didn't push it back? Here's – Here's what I will defend The Last of Us about, though. Is that final touches on a video game usually make or break the game, no? Mm-hmm. So that's probably why another reason amongst the game being a pandemic-based video game. That's all it is. That's what I think. I, I don't know. I, I, I think they lie, though, about that shit. I think they'd also worry that like they won't be able to get out like physical copies because how much of the, i would assume so much more of the business is physical copies than digital downloads 
I will tell you this. No one is going to buy video games after this. After this, mm. I think you're going to see a huge decline in physical copy sales. You know how I feel. I'll always buy physical copies. I know. There's the hardos like you. There's the diehards. Damn right. But I think a lot of people are learning. It's like, you know what? I could just order this shit. I refuse to do digital. I, I got three video games last week, and uh, I've been playing the wiener out of them. I got uh, Doom Eternal, MLB The Show, and Animal Crossing. We, why have we not played each other in MLB The Show yet? You're, uh, ducking, you're ducking me, you bitch. I ain't ducking you, dog. First of all, you're I ducking will, me. I'll you smoke you, dog. You, you probably throw junk. I first of all, I throw lasers. You throw absolute junk. I throw. You want to do this? Yeah, we'll do. It. Let's do it tonight. You really want to do this? Yeah, dude. And I'm gonna play you on my 65 inch TV, and, and I will play you on my 32 inch. Ew. What's up? How how big is your monitor for video games? Like when you're twitching, I would say like 24 inch, maybe 24. Yeah. I think my, I think my bedroom where my uh, PS4 is right now, I think that's 40, 48. That's really all you need. Listen, like playing video games on a 65 inch TV is fun. Um, it's not 48. Becca's saying go. it's not 48. Got to go to the judges. Becca knows. Is it more or less? Is you're it either- more or l- it's less? It's way less. If it's, it's, if it's not 48, it's way less. Oh, you're faking the flex. Hey man. I'm stuffing my I'm stuffing my boxers here. Did you know that I put on my TV a uh, lighting? Wait, that's a TV? Yeah, dude. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, dude. Yeah, fuck you. 65 inch TV, and then I have a projector in my room, which is like 85 inches. Yeah, the projector's smart because you can adjust that. Yes, and then and then the thing that's cool about it is I'm putting a shelf like right above my bed. Right now it's off centered and it's driving me crazy. Mm-hmm. But I'm putting a a shelf above my bed. And I cannot wait to masturbate. 80, 85 inches, Bluetooth, just drop it in, baby. Just airdrop that shit. Airdrop the fuck out of it. I'm going to be airdropping a couple things. I'll tell you Good that. You. you know what? That might be something that we might need to invest in because you guys have a great <clears throat> situation for a projector. Just put it on the ceiling in your room. Yeah, but there's a ceiling fan. Uh, and where are we going to put it? Like above, like our, I don't know. Babe, you know let's invest it, in a projector. Put it up against the wall. Put it, build, put a shelf on the wall. Put it on the wall. See behind our, we might need to switch our bed around because behind our bed is the window. Uh, yeah, we could put on the, yeah. Let's, this is a lot. This is a whole world that I was just open to this project world, the projector world. You got, you got to admit, even when you see mine, it's not really set up, but it's nice. I, I haven't really seen much of yours. I'll show you tonight. I'll show yeah, you tonight. Yeah, but I'm gonna play um, you on it, dude. I'm letting you know, like all jokes aside, like I'm gonna I'm gonna wash you, bro. I'm gonna kick your fucking ass, dude. I'm letting you know. All right, how are we doing? Are we doing? Are we picking teams or are we going best out of three? You want to go five or seven innings? What kind of a child are you? Why don't you go the full nine like an adult? I'll play nine. It's just up to how much time you have. You know, that's all I'm saying. Listen, play it on stream. Make money off of it. I don't know if I can't play. I'm not streaming tonight. I can't play tomorrow on stream because I'm I'm playing some games with my community. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Alvarez 8085. Um, maybe, maybe next week. Maybe next week. No, I, I got to wait a whole. Yeah, what is, no, no, no. I'm going to smoke you tonight, period. All right. We're going to play tonight. But on stream when I beat you, that'll yeah. have to wait. To em- embarrass you, that'll have to wait. What if I beat you tonight, you fucking whore? You won't. I'm just letting you know. Oh, my God. No created characters either, right? And we just got demonetized. No created character. No, no legends. No, no di- diamond dynasty. Regular stock teams. Dude, I used to play Joey in MVP 2005, the best baseball game to ever created, and Tessie! literally, literally, we would pick one random team and like whoever it is, it is. And I kid you not, there were like three times where Joey would get like the Cooperstown Golden Legends, and I would get like the at the time like the fucking. Kansas City Royals. Nobody's had more video game luck than Joe Santagata. Don't let him fool you, though. When it comes to Madden, I used to single-handedly – I uh, firsthand knowledge, I used to watch him put the ball on the one-yard line in practice mode on all Madden and run plays and break for 99 yards. So this yeah, kid he's, practices he's, – he's, he's a good Madden player. For he sure. knew exactly what he was doing. I've only beat him a few times. I, he, he beats me most of the time. I used to play him Madden on the Nintendo Wii. 
and he used to beat me. And the kid never played on the Nintendo Wii. Ugh, it's embarrassing. This kid's so lucky. You know, it's, you know, it's also embarrassing uh, not being able to get it up with your loved one. You know what I'm saying? Uh, oh, we're going into the sponsors right now, by the uh, way. Yeah, oh, well, yeah, I figured we would. Yeah, were. yeah. <laughs> I my hope phone... that's where you were going. I didn't yeah, want to yeah, know. Yeah. No, my, phone, my phone's dying, so I want to make sure we get the people that paid the money for the show get their show, you know? I love it. Why are you yelling at me, though? That's the one thing. Well, you know, it's, it's been a rough week, personally, professionally, week. emotionally. You know, I have, to, I have to assert my dominance wherever I can. Frankie fucking yelled at me the other day. We yelled at each other, actually. We did yell at each other. Yeah, we yelled at each other. We had our fir- was that our first fight? I don't think it was a fight. I, don't, I didn't categorize it as I a fight. I didn't categorize it as a fight. I got annoyed, yeah. and I put the phone down. Yeah. I, I put, I, well, I couldn't put my phone down. Really? Yeah. And then I brought you up to my therapist. You did? Yeah. Damn, I'm I can't tell. I can't tell you what was was talked about, but I mean, it, patient, it was, patient, doctor, Yeah, 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 yeah. But uh, we'll get it. We'll get more into this in a second. Uh, okay, all right, yeah, yeah. Blue yeah. Chew. Okay, guys, let's talk about sex, baby. All right, good sex. Remember days when you were always ready to go. Now you can increase your performance and get that extra confidence in bed. Because listen up, Blue Chew, that's blue, like the color blue, B-L-U-E. Blue Chew brings you the first chewable uh, with the same FDA-approved active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, so you know they work. You can take them anytime, day or night, even on a full stomach. And since they're chewable, they work up to twice as fast as a pill, so you could be ready whenever an opportunity arises. Get that? That's a pun, like arises, like your wiener. Okay, I've used Blue Chew before. It's a fantastic product, you know, uh, during times of stress, or maybe I'm just a little bit too tired, or maybe maybe I took too long of a nap, or maybe I, I haven't showered yet. I'm a little I'm a little nervous and jealous of my of my stink of my stank. You know, I go ahead and pop a Blue Chew. Now this now this isn't just for guys who can't perform. It's for any guy who just wants extra fun function to enhance their performance. Uh, Blue Chew will not teach you how to read either. I'm having a hard time. Uh, for instance, most guys talk a good game, but if you're one and done, Blue Chew can even help you follow through to round two, baby. All right? We're going deep. We're going deep. We're like a starter that can go eight or nine innings. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Guy pitches his ass off. All right? Blue Chew is prescribed online and shipped straight to your door in a discreet package. So no in-person doctor visits, no waiting in the pharmacy, and best of all, no awkwardness. You don't need the awkwardness. They're made in the U.S. of A, and since Blue Chew prepares and ships direct, they're cheaper than a pharmacy. That's right. They're cheaper than a pharmacy. Right now, we've got a special deal for our listeners. Go to visit Blue Chew and get your first shipment free when you use our special promo code STANK, okay? That's bluechew.com, B-L-U-E, chew.com, B-L-U-E, chew.com, with the promo code STANK to try it for free. All right, for free. Blue Chew is the better, cheaper, faster choice, and we thank them for sponsoring the podcast, okay? All right, and then we also have another amazing, amazing company that's been doing work with us, and that is DoorDash, okay? DoorDash has something for every lifestyle. On the go, with no time to waste, order pickup and pass the line, but even right now, it's a little tough. Now you can get stuff delivered as usual per DoorDash, okay? DoorDash brings all of America's flavors to your door. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want to eat, and your food will be delivered to you wherever you are. Not only is your favorite pizza joint already on DoorDash, but there are over 310,000 restaurant partners in 4,000 cities across America and probably other places too. Oh, that's right. Puerto Rico, Canada, Australia. You can order from your local go-tos or choose from your favorite restaurants like Chipotle, Wendy's, Chick-fil-A's, and Cheesecake Factory's, okay? With DoorDash, you'll never have to worry about your next meal, okay? And listen, we got a deal for our listeners. Our listeners get $5 off their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter the code STANK, okay? That's $5 off your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the app store and enter code stank don't forget that's stank s-t-a-n-k for five dollars off your first order of fifteen dollars or more with a doordash that was a great ad read danny thank you buddy i hate you so much that's fine you know um danny 
on top. Have you? You know what you need. You know what you need, Danny, to get that I, to get that stress out. You need to play Doom Eternal. You need to play Doom Eternal. You know. I What's think, the last Doom game you played? Oh, sixty-four. Yeah, dude. Same here. I did not know that the amount of carnage could take place in a game with such a badass soundtrack. I have I have slept on the Dooms and Duke Nukems of the world uh, because I didn't see... I, uh, my idea of first-person shooters when I was a kid was like going to the arcade and like playing House of the Dead with your friends. Like Time Crisis and shit like Time that. Time Crisis, Dino Crisis, like the one they had uh, in like Nathan's. Remember Nathan's would always have like an arcade in it? I don't remember Nathan's. I remember Jillian's. And then that, I think Jillian's became, um, uh, what's it called now? Dave and Buster's? Dave and Buster's, yeah. Yeah. Dave, Dave and Buster's is fantastic. Oh, I hope my wiener didn't come out. I think Jillian's was like a New, New York, Long Island thing because I used to go there for like my birthdays. Yeah, so like those are what I used to go play. Dude, I, I'm with you though. I hadn't played a Doom game since 64. Holy hell. Like, It's that good, huh? It's, I mean, this is the thing. I think the game is fun. I don't want to say it's good. Like, don't ask me what's going on in the story. No fucking clue. You're, I'm, all I know is there are demons. Okay. They're trying to kill me. I need to kill them. That's it. It's pretty simple. Not that difficult of a concept. Some of these death, mecha- death animations, though, holy hell. Like, they are over the top. Like, I, I, I took a guy's eye out of his mouth and put it down his throat and then just, like, chopped him up, I think. Wait, how'd the eye get into his mouth? Your eyes are in your eyes. I took it out. Put it in his mouth. And put it in his mouth and then, like, shot him. It's pretty aggressive. Is this solely on Switch? Switch? I mean, I don't even know if it's on the Switch. I think it is, but I got it for the Xbox. You got it for Xbox, right? Dude, oh, I was wondering, sh- how is Nintendo doing with, like, they have adult gaming, correct? They do have adult gaming. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty apparent that their games, that at least their first-person games, are geared a lot more towards, I don't even want to say children, but... Young, young guys. It's, it's a younger generation. It's smoke and mirrors. You know what I mean? Like Zelda, you look at Zelda, you say like, oh yeah, that's for kids. But like, yo, you play that shit as a fucking little kid. Oh, I have a lot no of shit. clue what I'm doing. Yeah. You that's a I mean? hard game too. Dude, Breath of the Wild, little kid, no clue. I will tell you this though. When it comes to like, I, 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 this is the thing. Playing video games in front of Miles there are certain games that are no brainers I can play with. Him and I playing the shit out of Animal Crossing. We've been crushing it. I, I don't get it. Dude, I will get to Animal Crossing in a sec. I don't get I it. I will get to Animal Crossing in a sec because I was with you. I didn't get it either. I don't fucking get this. COD is one of those games where I'm like, you know, I'm not going to play it in front of him, but maybe sooner than later I will. Play with there's, him. There's no doubt in my mind that it is going to be a very long time before I ever play Doom with this kid. Yeah, probably. Dude. I'm like running around and it's like, you just like, it's quiet. And then you just hear like, and I was like, I need to, I need to blow some people's fucking face off. Dude, literally, I need to rip someone's fucking throat off. But Animal Crossing. You sound like Chris Hansen when you said that. Dude, I I do a good Chris Hansen impression. I've watched so much to catch a predator during this quarantine. So much. I haven't watched this thing. You go on this thank YouTube, it's just all recommended. Really? Yeah. Damn. I haven't watched enough, but. Uh, dude, Chris Chris Hansen should if he's not already should be a stand up comedian. This guy had the best zingers I've ever heard. I remember a dude went there and he had like a cowboy hat on. He was like, uh, "Have a seat right over there, Tex." Yeah. He's hey like, boo. Uh, uh, why do you have a seat right there? I'd like a cookie. I'm Chris Hansen. Uh, do you know who I am? What are you doing here? And what are you doing here? Ah, uh, I knew this wasn't. I knew it. I was here to make sure no one did this stuff. I came here to tell her not to have sex with anyone. I was just going to eat pizza and leave. Yeah, dude, it's so tough watching those because, uh, you know, I, 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 I'm all about reform. I went through school. I went to school for criminal justice. I believe in reformation. You, you know, went to school for criminal justice. Yeah, where have you been at? I didn't know that. Dude, you I, wanted to be a cop or a lawyer? No, neither. I just went to school for criminal justice. Wait, I don't understand though. You don't need to be. You don't need to go to school for criminal justice to be a lawyer or a cop. Lawyers, pre-law, cop is no college. Paralegal? I mean, that's law. No, but if you go to college for criminal justice, you get like I mean, There's other law. stuff you could do in the criminal justice uh, system. You know what I mean? Dum, 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 dum. Well, well. 
I'm uh, just a cleaning lady. <laughs> we need to get to that because it's going to take a while. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, yeah, so I believe in reform. Uh, re- reform. Uh, there's no help for these fucking pieces of shit on To Catch a Predator. And I laugh at them. Fuck yeah, them all. I don't feel bad for any of them. They're like, oh, they're sick. I don't give a fuck. A yeah. guy's there to suck a little boy's dick. Yeah. And like, oh my God. It's, 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 it's incredible television. It really is. But I did learn during Herbal school. Or incredible. Incredible. It's some of the best American television. I ever did. Made. I did learn during school that there were issues with the show because technically like they say like they worked with law enforcement, but like the way that they had gotten confessions was like not under the guise of like any sort of like legal preparation. Yeah. It was like basically me and you doing this. Oh, predator poachers. I don't know what that is. Oh, I thought you were saying, are you talking about the YouTube channel? No, 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 no. I'm just saying like, there, like, there were a lot of like legal issues with that show because basically, like, people were able to just walk free because what they were doing was technically not, like, in complying with the law. But it's neither here nor there. Um, Danny, Animal Crossing is a beautifully cute game. Yeah, you're gonna have to sell me on this. Because Listen, all I see is people walking around being like, "Oh, this is my house." Do you know how rewarding it is to have Tom Nook tell you, "Hey, listen." I need like 30 things of wood, hardwood, and softwood, and some iron nuggets to build this store. This is on your shoulders. Help me here. And then you get it and you build. Dude, I opened a fucking museum. All right? There's some, there are fossils in there. You can't do that in real life. This game, and I used to be one of those people like, look, it's not for me because da, 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 da. I got it with Miles. If I've played 30 hours, I've played two of those hours with Miles, and I am crushing this game by myself. Frankie, it, listen, it's give right me, now. Give, that pitch was good. Give me one more pitch, but give me something a little bit better. Okay. Okay. Right. Okay. We currently live in a time where there are stressors on our life and pressure on our life that does not, that makes it feel like we are not able to do what we want and enjoy the small, minute parts of life. Okay, Interaction with people. Interaction right. with people. Beautifying our community. Okay. Being able to go out there. Do something and see a difference. Do you know how satisfying it is to do something as small as create a flower bed? Do you know how satisfying it is to find some hidden bunny day eggs? Because they can't call them Easter because that's a religious connotation uh, uh, term. Uh, right. right. do, you know, do you know how beautiful it is to go out there and find flowers and create plants and build yourself the house that you don't currently have without, yeah, look, there is a little bit of debt that comes with the game. And yeah, sure, Tom Nook just gives you $98,000 worth of debt in order to build your house. But you can sell apples for $1,000. This is a world that we currently do not live in, but it is the ideal, the ideal version of the world that we want to live in. And the fact that we can get in this game and escape onto our island, which by the way, my, na- my, my island name was nicknamed, it was named by Miles and it's Isle Hockey, H-O-C-K-I. Don't ask oh, why. Oh, it's Native American? My name is Macaroni. If you ever wanted your name to be Macaroni, Danny, your name could be Macaroni. What do you want your name to be, Danny? Go on. What did you, what did you want your name to be? Pegasus. Pegasus. Your name could be Pegasus. And you can live on Farty Butt Island. Or you can live on, you know, Smoky Wiener Tip Island. You can live where you want, do what you want, talk to who you want, ignore people. You can beautify your part of the island and leave everyone else's looking like shit. So then when they come to you and ask for help, you can either do it because they're grateful or not do it and make them grateful. I'll give you $250,000 for 15% stake in your company. These other sharks aren't going to give it to you. He already passed. He's out. Mark's I'm, out. I'm looking. I'm looking. Mark's what's, out. What stake percentage are you offering? Listen, I, I, listen. You're talking about a game. I don't play games. I'll give you two hundred and fifty thousand dollars now for fifteen percent equity in your company. Okay. That is a bit high for the percentage. Uh, I am gonna, where are you going to go? You I'm, have, where I'm are you going to go? I'm willing to offer three twenty. You're already. You're, you're already ninety-eight thousand dollars in debt. I'm willing. I, I currently have. I could pay that for you. I have currently sold enough uh, 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 clamshells. What's your mission coral. statement? I have currently sold enough clamshells and coral. Uh, I currently have about $78,000 saved up in my bank. 
bank, which is collecting interest at the moment. Uh, paying off that debt, uh, I do not find will be very difficult. Uh, and uh, I'm willing to uh, listen. I don't, I don't, counteract I don't need, your offer with three hundred twenty-five thousand for seventeen percent stake. You got a deal. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you, sharks. That was that was the 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 thing. That was the the fucking crossover you never knew you wanted. Animal Crossing and Shark Tank. Yeah, animal animal tank. Makes animal fur. Animal tank. Yeah. I don't know. Why I do they call it sharks? Why do they call it Animal Crossing? Yeah. No fucking clue. Maybe because like oh, your neighbors are like it's, animals. This one's sneezing over here. Dude, I planted a coconut tree. Multiple. I could. I want a coconut tree in my house. I planted. A money tree. You see this fucking guy, Joe, said he could plant a pineapple. I was like, what are you, fucking high? Do was you, that you? You might have your people mixed up. Yeah, that was you. you. No, no, right no, it was no but I caught, but I caught it. I caught it. I caught it. I have my pineapple soaking right now. I'm waiting it to germinate or germinate to get those roots out. That son of a bitch is going in the ground, and you best believe I'm going to have my sweet ass of pineapple. Frankie, let me tell you something. You what? ain't going to get shit. Oh, yeah? Bug. Yeah? Yeah. I can't wait. Can't You're... wait until I get a fucking pineapple and I piss on your mouth. All right. Well, speaking of piss in my mouth, let's get into this bracket, shall we? All right. I like that. That was a good. I like that one. That was a good one. <laughs> Frankie, I wish you were nicer to me. All right. Here we go. Uh, <laughs> this is the official. In honor of March Madness, there has been a episode office bracket going around. Why? Why do you say it like a friggin' foreigner? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Wonder who you voted for, sir. An off you said an episode and everyone unfollows bracket. Frankie because they just found out who he votes for. First of all, if you think for one second, if you think for one second, ventilators, <laughs> it's good. Bernie wants to keep his delegates. There's something going on. Why isn't Obama come out and, and, and side of a jail? Uh, what does he call him? Sleepy Joe? Sleepy Joe. First Joe, of all, that shit is hilarious. Incredible. I can't even get in that at it. It's so funny. He's like, Sleepy Joe. I'm and like, he, oh my God, this like, guy's me. This, this is what I do every day. <laughs> Anywhere he talks about him, he refers to them in some fucking shitty nickname. You got He's, Sleepy Joe. What do you think about the person that is going to be running against you? Sleepy Joe? Don't care. Sleepy Joe? Does he, does he even know he's running for president? He needs to wake up. Uh, yeah, so this is quite the extensive bracket. We're going to try to get through it all. Yeah, let's try and get through it all, or we'll do one half of the bracket, and then maybe we'll save it for next week. Are you going to be... Um, I'll, I'll read them out. I'll read them out. All right, but we need to, like, track who wins each one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're, we're going to decide. We're going to decide. All right. The injury versus the viewing party. I mean, okay. the, in the injury easily. Yeah, that's. I mean, that guys, if you want, by the way, there, it's on. We found this on Reddit. Uh, go I'll check put, it out. I'll put it, I'll put it in the description. Yeah, go go check it out so you can do yours and and send us a screenshot of what you guys uh, think will be winning, and we'll try to put together something for you guys so you can see what we thought won. But yeah, injury versus viewing party. I mean, injury is an all timer, man. <laughs> yes. How do you beat that? Listen, viewing I love party's the smell good. Smell of bacon. Yeah. You know, if injury a viewing party is good, but it, it was. I'm, I like Gabe as a character, but he was just I, – I didn't like the whole him and Aaron dating thing. Yeah. Yeah. It just seemed like they were just trying to redo Pam and Jim all over again. So, um, although, although there are good parts of that episode, uh, I, I got to give it to uh, – I got to give it to the injury. Got to give it to the injury. Easy, easy one versus 16 right there. All right, the surplus and the job. Uh, now this is tough because the job is a two-parter. The job is a two-parter, but I'm going with the surplus solely on when he's having Oscar explain to him what a surplus is. Remind remind me of that when he's like, "All right, your family lets you start a lemonade stand," and he's like, "He's like, all right, he's like, explain it to me like I'm 12." <laughs> he goes, and then one year later, I'm 13. Yeah, you know, and then he's like, "All right, you know what? Explain to me like I'm five. Mommy and daddy give you enough money to start a lemonade stand." That's for cups, lemons, sugar. But then you realize that you buy everything, you have two extra dollars. So when next year comes around, I'll be six. <laughs> Listen, this is my only issue with picking surplus over the job. The job is memorable 
because one, it's a two-parter, and two, it's a, it's a hit in the feels episode. It's the it's the end of Karen and uh, and Jim. Uh, it's yeah. it's the start of Jim and Pam like officially, and I I don't know I I think I think I not have, a lot of laughs though. Yeah, and that's also the episode where uh, and I fucking hate Pam Beasley. Oh, you're an idiot. I'm I'm gonna go with the job on this one. You're going with the surplus. I'm going with the surplus. All right, so then we're gonna have to flip a coin in order to to, to pick the winner. No, of the no, two. just no, just pick just pick your ones. Pick your ones. What do you mean? You want to flip it? All right, flip it. We'll yeah, flip we it. have to because we need to figure out what goes on to the next. We'll keep this it right here is a challenge coin from my high school, from the baseball team. Oh, Shout cool. out Brian Owls. Uh, heads is going to be surplus. surplus. Tails is going to be uh, the, the job. job. Terrible it flip. Is surplus. Great flip. <laughs> All right. Next one. You want to read the next one? Yes. The next okay. one we have here is Michael's Last Dundies and Goodbye Toby. No, no, no. It's Booze Cruise. Oh, Booze Cruise. Sorry. Booze Cruise and Michael's Last Dundies. I feel um, truly blessed. <laughs> Listen, I like – what's his name? I like D'Angelo, D'Angelo Vickers. Vickers. I great. thought he was a good part of the series. A lot of people tend to disagree. I think he was fantastic. I don't know why people hate him so much. Um, but Booze Cruise – that's a that is an that's another all timer. I mean, there's so much from that episode. The Michael dancing scene alone is iconic. All right. Yes, but there is a great cameo in Rob Riggles. Yeah, Rob Riggles is great. He's great. He's great, and Michael dancing is great. I just think that. Uh, there's not enough there in that episode. Are you kidding me? I think there's plenty there. Bro, got- they, they sing they sing rent to Michael in the in his last dundies. It listen, it's a it's a tearjerker. But in terms of constant laughs, I'm going with Booze Cruise over Michael's last dundies. Come on. Fine, I'll give it to you. Yes. And people are gonna be like, oh, he's looking down at his phone. I'm looking at the bracket. Idiots jerk faces all right so then we have another two-parter episode in the delivery against goodbye toby um i i think this is a soft spot for me my sister and my brother-in-law just gave birth last week goodbye toby it's been nice don't you find your hope you find your paradise um i i think i'm a little biased here just because like i said my sister and brother-in-law just gave birth last week I have to congratulations, I, by the way. Thank you. Thank you. I, I think I have to go with the delivery just because it's a fun. The first part is fun. You know, all this stuff with like super lunch and super or f- ultra feast. Ultra feast. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. And then uh, the, the delivery stuff where, you know, Michael Dwight's in the house and uh, Michael having the cigar outside of the, the, the hospital room. I, I like goodbye, Toby. That opening is hysterical where he's like dancing and he's like, I have a lot of energy today. He gives him a rock. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the delivery. Since you since it has to do with your sister, I'm giving I'll give you the delivery. Yeah. It's our it's our first upset. Thank you. All right. The delivery beats goodbye, Toby. But that's solely because your sister just had a baby. Thank you. All right. This next one is the most cringe episode of all time. Yes. And it is, I'm just looking up what the other one is. So it's Scott's Tots versus Conflict Resolution. Mm-hmm. Um, That's the one when Michael, uh, when Oscar complains about the saxophone poster, I think. If yeah. Jesus, If Jesus saw this, he would flip out, Toby. <laughs> He'd freak out. Listen to me. This is way more offensive to me than hardcore porn. Powerin. Um, Powerin. Listen. I haven't watched Conflict Resolution in a while, but there is little to nothing that could be done in order to upset Scott's Tots here. Scott's Tots wins. wins. Hey, hey, Mrs. Scott, what, what you, you gonna, gonna do? do? What, what you, you gonna, gonna do? do? Make, Make our dreams, dreams come, come true. true. Uh, that episode is nearly perfect. I mean, top to bottom. How do you, how do you get better than that? Nah, it's, it has everything. It has Michael fucking up. It has Stanley laughing. 
uh, has annoying Pam. Hate Pam. Yeah. Hate Pam. Hate her so much. Um. Okay. So the next one, Danny, read the next one on the bracket. It's AARM and Job Fair. All right, AARM, first entry that we have here from an, from an older season, from a newer season episode. Uh, yes. Episode. Um, that was toward the end. I think that was like the third to last or second to last episode. Yeah, I think that those shows were uh, pretty shitty. What are you doing? What? What are you doing? <laughs> Stretching. Um, and if I am correct, job fair is the one where they go to the high school where yes. Pam's high school and, uh, they try to, you know, get some people, uh, they try to get the kid and then, uh, Jim and them are on the golf outing with Andy and them and stuff like Got that. Some blisties. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't a, this, this is not a, uh, this isn't a, a huge, challenge here arm not the top episode job fair okay episode of the two though i think i'm going job fair uh where they're like insulting that little kid where he's like i don't want him we want hot interns yeah and arm's a two-parter i think i believe you're correct yeah so i'm gonna go i'm gonna go with the job fair okay you have to judge those things on a whole you know and then it's not fair uh basketball not that i know of i didn't hear any emails oh sorry go ahead no it's all right life covid life uh basketball and initiation i mean stanley dribbling alone takes that yeah ba- I, i've come out and said that basketball is one of my favorite if not my favorite episode of all time yeah um it's definitely up there uh initiation just to see that's uh that's when dwight takes ryan yep yeah you're it's not going to okay. get – it's going to be tough for me to argue against basketball. Basketball yeah. is an incredible episode. An early one, too. I think it was season two. Yes, yeah, season two. All right. All right. So then we have the Dundies versus Trivia. Uh, the Dundies. Let's just move on. Uh, oh, boy. Someone does not like the Trivia episode, huh? No, no. The, it's, it's the Dundies, dude. It's the first ever Dundies. Okay. Sing it, Elton. <laughs> Um, after that, we have, uh, and guys, if we're, if we're not talking enough, we're obviously, we're trying to get through the first round so we can get into talking I think, more. I think, I think, you know what? I'm going to make an executive decision here and, and I can't make an executive decision without you. I think we do this bracket, this, like it, there's four of them. Let's do one each. All right. I, you got to walk me through more. All right, all right, all right. So you know how they're in the NCAAs, there's like an east, west, north, south. Okay. All right. Let's just do the east today. Okay. And we'll go all through the east. All, and, and the next week we'll go all through the west. All through the west, and then all through the north and all through the south, and then we'll crown a fucking champion. Well, so when, when are we, when are we, what are we like stopping at today? Just, uh... Why don't we just do because there's two parts of the bracket. There's the left side and the right side. Why don't we do That's the left what, that, side? All right, let's yeah, let's do the left side today. Okay. Just the we'll first the, round, or are we doing second, third, and fourth round as well? No, no, no. We'll go all the way to the championship and then we'll do it again. And then we'll do next week's and then and then we'll have the two champions face off. So it'll be a two parter. We're okay. gonna two part this bitch. I like this bitch. Yeah. Um, all right, so then what's what's ones we got next? Threat level midnight and the chump. It's threat level midnight. Yeah, Threat Level Midnight. I love the chump, you know, and, and the just chump's him, good. him going and stealing the orange slices from the baseball game. <laughs> uh, incredible. Where he's like, look what this man is making me do to his wife. Uh, but Threat Level Midnight, I mean, Jesus, how do you beat that? You're a good coach. Threat Level Midnight is an all-timer. I haven't done that dance since my wife died. Um, do you know the dance? Of course. You jump to the right and you and shake, shake that, that hand. hand. Jump, jump to, to the, the left, left and you shake that, that hand. What is it? Uh, do the thing. Tie some yarn. That's how you do the scarn. That's how you do the scarn. That's right, baby. Uh, doing the scarn is gay. <laughs> I'm the biggest queer on earth. Um, chair model versus the client. 
Okay. I'm going to need to, I, I remember, remember the chair model one. That's the one where he wants to, um, you know, like find the chair, like the woman on the chair and he then he tracks lots her down. Of kids drinking whiskey yeah, and wine, wine. singing. Why'd you have, to, why'd you have, have to, go to go and die? die? Frankie. Why? No, I'm doing the, when. Why'd you have to go off and die? You know, anything that has Don McLean's American Pie, I'm a big fan of, but the client with Tim Meadows. <laughs> I was about to come out of my nose. Dude. It is the first, I think it's the first time in the show that we get the idea that Michael on top of being just lovable also is good at what he does. You know, like he, he that's the best part is when Michael would have points where like he killed it. You know what I mean? Like in this situation, like we were like, Oh my God, this fucking idiot. Like, what is he doing? But like he gave Jan that look and he crushed it and he got the business. Right. I think it was a school district or something like that. Yeah. And then there's another one where like, he's like, he goes up into like a hotel. He's like, well, no, no, they don't. Cause we have all their sales now. Dude. He's I a great that, salesman. He's a great salesman. And this yeah. is the first time we get to see that. He's a good uh, salesman. I'm going with a uh, client. All right. I'm going with a uh, chair model. So we got to flip. Damn. All right. Let's flip this bitch. Go. Tails. Head, heads, I win. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Head is chair model. Tails is client. You ready? No. Well, too late. And it's client. <laughs> Cheater. What are you going to do, bitch? Is my phone's going to die. I have to pull this up on my. All right. Do your thing. I'll bring up the next one. Yeah. Uh, next... I, I don't want to keep going back and forth, like clicking you out and clicking you in. I don't know if it records that sound. Yeah. Next one is uh, the merger versus broke. Uh, merger is, um, I just want to specify exactly which one the merger is, but broke is obviously when Michael is broke and, you know, he declares bankruptcy. I declare bankruptcy. Jim and Pam are together after months as the Stanford branch and, and Scranton branch are finally merged. Okay. So this is the one where the, the fat guy, uh, they try to get him up on the, on the table. Yes, yes, yes. I, I, I got to be honest with you. I can't think of too many like funny moments from this episode. I know it was funny, but like none that like stand out off the bat. No. So broke kind of seems like the one I'm going to go with. Yeah. Um, I like broke. And then Jan finds him on the train. Oh my God. Yes. I'm, sk I'm skipping Dodge. I'm skipping town. <laughs> um, let's see. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm going with broke. That's an easy one for me. One hundred percent. Let's go broke. Okay. Well, let's not go broke, but let's go. Let's broke. not. Oh, God Almighty! I mean, we're already horny. What was that? I don't know. It's, I like to harmonize with you sexually. Wow, thank you. Um. All right. So, this is another late episode. Uh, Living the dream. Uh, twenty first episode of the ninth season. Um. Andy quits the job and, and then Dwight becomes regional manager. Um, gotta be honest. Don't remember much about this. Casino night seems like the way to go. We got our first Pam and Jim kiss. Yeah, that's easy. Uh, Creed cheating the system. Yes. You know, so seems yeah. like a no brainer e to easy, me. Easy, 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 easy. I know we've talked shit about the later seasons. They are good. It's just when you're comparing them to the beginning, that's the issue that people have with them is like, if you try to compare them to the original you know, like with Michael Scott, you're not going to win. All right. Here's the thing about Casino Night. And I've always had this argument. It's the first Jim and Pam kiss, right? But Pam kissed Jim at the Dundies. Yes, but it's the first. She was inebriated. Yeah, but she's sloppy, though. That's sloppy shit. That's some, that's some sloppy shit. You ain't Pam, wrong. Pam Beasley on some messy shit. You ain't wrong, but that's the first, like, they do it with, like, their own will kiss. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I feel like she, I don't know. He kind of just kissed her. You know what I mean? He didn't ask to kiss her. I mean, he walks in, and she's on the phone, and you hear her talking to her mom, and she's like, I don't know. I guess I kind of do. Oh, hold on. I'll, I'll call you back. And then my guy fucking plants one on her. She broke, I mean, we come to find out she broke it off with, with Roy because of it. Next. And it's also a funny episode because Jim has uh, – Michael has Jan and 
the real estate agent there is his girlfriend's. It's two and a half hour drive from New York. I go casino night still. Uh, All right. uh yeah, for sure. 100%. Okay. Okay. Another, now the another cringe worthy episode of The Office, Phyllis's wedding. It's almost hard to watch. I I don't get that from Phyllis's wedding. Golden ticket, on the other hand. Ooh boy, him coming. You in. don't get cringy from. Remind remind me of what happens. I remember Michael. He, like, try, he drags the wheelchair down the thing. He, oh you know, yes, he yells for the first time ever, <laughs> Mister and Mrs. Bob. Mister and Mrs. Bob. Um, and then doesn't he lose her her uncle or grandfather or something yeah, like that? Yeah, and then he find like finds him and he's like the Celtics were a good team. Yeah, I, I still got to go Golden Ticket, man. I mean, yeah, the cold open just from that alone. What's the cold open again? When he's like, he's putting him in the box. He does like that weird little jump back kick. Which one? When he has like the suit on and the, and the cane and he's putting the tickets into the fucking shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, cl- it's classic Michael. Try- good intentions, absolutely really fucking it up. And then when he gets in trouble, he throws Dwight under the bus. A big account. And I love when, when David Wallace comes there and he's like, good, congratulations, you did a great job. And Michael's like, yeah, c- congrats, Dwight. Good job, Dwight. <laughs> Uh, I'm going golden ticket. When they come up with other ide- like uh, other inventions, a toilet net. Yeah, got your keys and your phone, but yeah, that's gonna win. Yeah. Uh, uh, next, we have convict versus happy hour. I mean, we get we get prison Mike. That's an easy W for me. Yeah, I think that's the most like quotable one of the most quotable episodes. Prison Mike and the Dementors come down. It hoits. It hoits. Um. You know, uh, uh, into clink. Uh, That's just how we talk in a clink. Don't make me push you up against the wall. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what does he say to Ryan? Where he's like, "Don't drop the soap. Don't don't drop the soap. You would be the bell of the ball. The bell of the ball. Yeah, this is one of the most quotable episodes. How do you how do you beat uh, the convict? Happy Con- hour. Which one is happy hour? Happy hour is when. Uh, they go and Toby tries to get like that duck for Pam in the vending machine. I think it's is when she tells him about Jim and no, this is date Mike. Oh, date Mike. This is date a tough Mike. one. Hold on. This date is, Mike. It, nice to meet me. This is an incredible Michael Scott episode. We get uh, date Mike versus prison Mike. Oh my God. How do you, how do you compare? I'm giving it to Prison Mike. I have to. <sighs> date Mike. Got to go Date Mike. I'm looking up the episode too. Date Mike absolutely crushes it with Pam, uh, with, with what's her name? Uh, Gloria was her name? Whoever the, that like the woman that cheated on her husband was. But what the fuck was her name? She was hot. Um, and then we get all the stuff with Andy and Aaron trying to pretend they're not dating. And she goes up to the guy and she and puts rubs his, his hand. Leg. And it was a, he's like, you like that big boy? <laughs> We're um, dating. Dude, this is the, this is the, the, the toughest one of the, the, of the day so far. Date Mike versus Prison Mike. It's Prison Mike. It's Prison Mike. You got to go Prison Mike. If you want to flip, I'll flip. But you're going to feel bad about this. Ah. Uh. I don't know, man. The Kangol hat and the open shirt backwards. That's tough to beat. All right. I'll, I'll, God, you, got, you got a break on this. You got a break. I, all right. I'll, I'll go, I'll go prison. My convict takes it. Thank you. Damn it. All right. And, uh, okay. Local ad versus two weeks. I love local ad a lot. But two local weeks. Ad's is great. cute. But two weeks is great because Michael just doesn't give a fuck. Come on. Come, Come on. on. He goes, tastes like Scott. Uh, what does he say? Tastes like Splenda gets drunk like Scotch. Scotch and Splenda. I think I should do that. Babe, do we have any Splenda? I do not think we have Splenda. Um, oh, now you can't. Yeah. Now uh, you ruined it. The interactions with my twin Idris Elba in two weeks is a goodie. Uh, yes. Charles Minor. Charles Minor. Minor? I hardly even dated her. Yeah. I'm going to go two weeks on this one. I'm going to go two weeks. Seven ten upset. Local local ad is a is a goodie, but it's cute. Din- dinner party gossip. We all know who wins that. Oh my god, dinner party is my favorite, if not my number two, with basketball. That is 
oh, it's, I, I, it's, it's, it's one of the best episodes of television ever. I can talk about the New York Yankees the same way I talk about Dinner Party. Oh, yeah. That's how passionate I am about Dinner Party, for sure. It's going to be hard. Episode, it's it's going to be hard for anything to do. It's going to be very difficult. And it looks like it's going up next against two weeks. We might be able to just ship that on the way through. Yeah, let's work our way back up. Well, hold on. Is that the last one? Yeah, that's the last yeah, one. Yeah, that is the last one. So, all right. So, our, our, our round one winners, we had um, the injury, the surplus, Booze Cruise, the delivery, Scott's Tots, Job Fair, Basketball, Dundee's, Threat Level Midnight, Client, Broke, Casino Night, Golden Ticket, Convict, Two Weeks, and Dinner Party. Yes. All right. So, let's go backwards on the way up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dinner Party is going to beat two Dinner weeks. Party is destroying two weeks yes how i mean listen two weeks is fun but dinner party is the ah oh i don't know how to explain from start to finish it's incredible the jan and michael stuff is so good in that episode oh yeah michael shines and he goes and i just sleep here this is my bed here jan has some space issues (laughs) (laughs) and he just oh my god right here I, if we don't get actual candles, what is it? Uh, uh, sent by Jan? Sense by Jan? Uh, or Serenity by Jan? Serenity by Jan. We need that some Serenity one by Jan. Night, one night you made everything all right. Wow. Dinner back. party. Dinner party right. takes it. What's next? The Convict versus Golden Ticket. I'm going Convict Music. Convict Music. Chill. Chill. Yeah. Ah, shit, fuck. Saw that in that Mississippi. Out the North Carolina, <laughs> <Deep> Devin, <laughs> Virginia, the North Carolina, with it cold in the winter. <laughs> out of man out there, Ben and Cat. Oh, God, you don't listen to that song. That shit's a beggar. Hell yeah. Feed me rappers or feed me meat beats. beats. I am not contained. I need it. What? Oh, my God. I'm not going to tell her let the visa speak, and I like my way. Eat the beat. <laughs> I got more juice than your jeweler. I got more juice than your jeweler. All right, we got to keep going. Uh, listen, golden tickets, great. We're getting prison Mike versus dinner party next round. That's gonna be tough. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a tough one. Uh, but I, I think convict takes it just because prison Mike is such a powerhouse. Yes, prison Mike is the Derek Jeter. He, he maybe wasn't the best number comp- one compiler. He he's he's comes through in the clutch. Yeah, he's All clutch right. and he's a compiler. Casino night versus broke. Mm. Casino night. Really? Yeah, I'm going casino night. I'll 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 agree with you on that one. Casino night is is more of a you know we get some funny stuff, but it's more of a story driven episode. Yeah, I, I, I'll stay I, with you on that. I think it was a well done episode too. I'll stay with you on that. I like that one. Um, then we have. Um, the client versus threat level midnight. Threat, um, threat level midnight. Yeah, that's an easy one. This is starting to get easier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the big ones are gonna get some upsets here. The next threat round, level midnight. Make another hundred for you all right. Free Mandela and I'm out. <laughs> all right, Danny. This is a toughie too. Dundee's versus basketball. See, this is the biggest one. This is the hardest one. The Dundies obviously is just a huge, you know, recurring thing. Um, but I'm gonna have to give it to basketball because it's just like it's kind of the start of the Jim and Roy competition. Mm-hmm. Uh, Stanley dribbling, Kevin, you find out is fucking wet. Uh, <laughs> Kevin, Kevin, Kevin got the it got, rain, got the uh, Jimmy son. Yeah. <laughs> So I was like, I'm going with basketball. I'm going to go with an upset here. I'm going to go with basketball over the Dundies. I will go with you on basketball as well for every reason that you said. Yes. All right, what's next? Scott's Tots. Versus Job Fair. Come Scott's, on. Scott's Tots. It's Scott's Tots. You know what's crazy is this side of the bracket is looking a bit heavy. I'm looking at the other side just really quick. I mean, we start off with Stress Relief and Murder, which are great episodes. Um all right. Yeah, there might be some competition, but this side, the 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 west side of the bracket here is 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 uh, it's big episode heavy, dog. They're knocking out some big timers. 
That's what I, I haven't even looked at the other side because I don't want to start thinking any, I don't, I don't want to start pre picking shit. Okay. Uh, yes. Yeah, Scott, Scott's tots takes it over, over job fair. So we went with the delivery here. Or goodbye, Toby, the delivery, right? We went with the delivery, yeah. um, versus Which... booze cruise. I, I stand by booze cruise. I think booze cruise is a good episode. It's fun. Yeah. It's better than the delivery for sure. Um, I mean the delivery, you get the two parter, but booze cruises, you get, I mean, look, you get some real, uh, you know, cute interactions, you know, between Jim and Pam. I know that like Roy's there and, and, uh, Andy, uh, Jim's girlfriend, Amy Adams is there. Um, another great cameo. Great cameo. Yeah. And Rob Riggle does crush it that episode. Him and Meredith going to town on each other. Yeah. What, what did he, what does he say? Him and Michael, what do they argue about? Uh, the, the, where he says like, um, he's the captain of the ship or something like that. No, he's like, he's like, snorkel shot. Like, he's like, nope, doing this. What does he say? <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, I hate when I can't remember things. All right, but anyway, Booze Cruise, yes. Booze Cruise takes it. And then our last matchup of round two is Surplus versus the Injury. I got to go Injury, yeah. Got to go Injury. It's one of the best episodes ever. Yeah, I'm going Injury on this one. Tis a goodie. Uh, um, what, what season was the injury? Like season five? Mm, no. It might've been four. I think like season five was like Koi Pond and shit, probably. Oh, Koi Pond. If that episode's in there, which yeah. I'm sure it is, that's a goodie as well. Let me just take a quick look at the, the East bracket. Um, no, don't look, don't look. I don't want to look. I don't want to look. I don't know if it's named Koi Pond, so it might be in there. I just don't it know. Is, it is named Koi Pond. Are you sure? Yes. Uh, I don't see it. Wow. Not in there. No. All right. So then going back, round three, which are the, what, quarterfinals or semifinals? Quarterfinals, oh. right? Quarterfinals. Sweet 16. No, round three is not the Sweet 16. Yes, it is. Then it goes to Elite Eight, and then it goes Final Four. It's the Sweet 16, but this is just this part of the Sweet 16. No, because there are not 18 – there are not 16 things left. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's only eight. Right, this is right, the elite right, eight. right. But on the other side, there's an eight. You don't That's know what you're talking about. You're not factoring the other side is going to have eight, you bitch. Yeah. Oh, yes. You're right. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Um, going back from the top down, injury versus booze cruise. Injury. Really? Yes. That quick? Yes, dude. Has to be. I don't know, man. We get some real good stuff on that damn boat. What if Stevie Wonder had fallen down in that bathroom? <laughs> uh... 100% it's an injury for me. We're good. <sighs> you, you know it, too. All right. I'll give you the injury. Let's go. I'll give you the injury. Injury is into the late eight. A late eight. Okay. Elite then eight. we have Scott's Tots versus basketball. Oh, my goodness. <sighs> I'm going to go basketball. <sighs> but it's fucking hard. Scott's Tots is so, it's so hard to watch. I can't – I love basketball so much, but I don't think I can – I know it's my one of my top three favorite episodes of all time, but Scott's Tots, man. Let's how they it. were – how they executed that and just made everyone just basically – You had to pass it to make it happen. <laughs> we don't need to compromise because we can have it all. And he's watching and he's just like uh, – uh, uh. <laughs> oh, Yeah, that's – um. What's Scott's Tots? <laughs> and then Stanley just starts <laughs> <laughs> uh what Scott's Tots. Scott's Tots. I gotta I gotta go. I'll go Scott's Tots. I'll go Scott's Tots. Damn. I love you, basketball. I love you so much. Yeah, that's a hard one to say goodbye to. Never my time to say goodbye. Start hitting me. And I really don't feel away one thing about you. Girl, it's not you with me. I gotta get up and get back with need wow we crushed that honestly um all right next one we got is uh threat level midnight versus casino night this is i mean gotta be honest i casino night's good threat level midnight takes it for me 
just the fact that they put all that effort into making it and it was so stupid and like in Michael's vision and like then you think about like the making of that like they went along with it you know what I mean yeah and you, up Toby's you, head you convince everybody to be in it yeah um you ever banged an entire bachelorette party baby <laughs> it, I gotta go threat level midnight me too threat level midnight for sure yeah number one seed riding high still uh so then we have uh convict versus dinner party that's an easy wash that's a wash it, and, i love and prison the convict mike. is hard i love wash. prison mike but dinner party is iconic yes iconic the, have you ever seen the outtakes just from dinner party yes have you ever read the rolling stones article about it no you have to read it about the recording uh, like the filming of it it was ridiculous really yeah all right yeah it's it's Oh, it's near perfection. So now we have uh, Threat Level Midnight versus Dinner Party. I, I, I'm, look, giving the, I'm giving the edge to Dinner Party. I'm, I'm, I have to agree with you there. And it's kind of tough. And I'm surprised Threat Level Midnight was a number one seed. I'm not. I'm not. I, think I it's, am. Over I think Dinner it's, Party? It's, it's, it's a gimmick. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's an episode where it's an episode in an episode. You know what I mean? Like, I know, but it's, it's, it's. It's Holly's kind of an asshole in it. Wait, Dinner Party wasn't a number one seed? No, it was the two seed. That's what I'm saying. Yo, that is insane. That's wild. That is wild. They got a bad, they got a bad, uh, yeah, emulator there. I'll, I'll, I'll tell you this I'll go with Dinner Party just because everything that we love about The Office is in Dinner Party. Yes. And not everything that we love is in Threat Level Midnight. Yes. The interactions, it's, it's Threat Level Midnight, it's a gimmick. You, the interactions are the, in the movie, you know what I mean? So I'm going to have to go with, uh, I'm going to go with Dinner Party. Yeah, me too. Damn, we're crushing this. A crazy day. And then the other one is Scott's Tots versus The Injury. <sighs> I'm, I'm going to go Scott's Tots. I'm going Injury, so we're going to have to flip on this one. Really? Yeah, You like yeah. The Injury that much? Yeah, dude, he grills his fucking foot on a George Foreman grill. <laughs> Yeah, I know. And then and it's Dwight, gets, Dwight gets a concussion. I know. I know it's funny. I know. But, dude, Scott's Scott's tots. Let's flip it. Really? Yeah, we got to flip. Really? I'm sticking by it. Heads for the injury. Tails for Scott's tots. What the tots. fuck is me getting all these heads? I'll keep it. All right. Like okay, all right. Heads is Scott's tots. Tails is threat level midnight. Yeah, I mean, uh, injury. Injury. Okay. Heads. Go. Heads, Scott's Tots, Tails, Injury. It's Tails. God damn it. <laughs> God <laughs> damn it. The, the office gods know what's up. Damn All right. You. What's next? So it's the final of this side of the bracket. Okay. We have the Injury versus Dinner Party. Danny, don't even try. It's the Dinner Party. Don't even try. It's the Dinner Party. The number two seed is going to the championship. Dude, it is Dinner Party by a long shot. Yeah, I yeah. love. Listen, injury is a good episode, but dinner party. How do you beat that? Yeah, I agree. All right, so we've crowned our winner for the west side of the bracket. Yes, and it is. Uh, hold on, I need to use like a good color. It's dinner party. It's dinner party by twenty-five. Oh, I'm saying by 50. How is it a number two, bro? I don't understand how it's a number two at all. Yeah, it's a bit crazy. But all right, guys. Uh, so next week we're going to come back and we're going to, on top of talking uh, another show that we're going to watch, we're going to do the other side of this bracket. Uh, guys, go let us know what you thought about this side. Like I said, if you just Google Reddit office bracket, it's one of the first things that pops up. Let us know what you think about our picks. So far, winner from the West is the dinner party. Yes. Uh, and then next week, on top of talking um, how to – what is it? How to produce a drug scandal or something like that? How to fix a drug scandal. On top of talking that, we're going to be talking about the east side of this bracket. So let us know what you think. Uh, you can find me, F. Alvarez 8085 on Twitter and on Twitch if you want to come hang out with me playing video games. Uh, this is releasing uh, on Friday the 10th. So actually tonight I'll be streaming – uh, playing some games so come and hang out uh i'll also be having a couple uh, how you doing so it's yeah well don't, funky. don't duck me tonight you bitch i won't duck you bench bench uh and then uh you can find me on instagram at the frank alvarez uh if 
find the show, the Stank Podcast, Instagram, Twitter, Patreon. Keep supporting us. We really appreciate you guys supporting us for Patreon. Uh, we are going to, we had announced at the beginning of March that we were going to do a Patreon giveaway for March. Uh, we are going to do it. We're going to announce the winner and then we'll contact them to see what they want. Um, for but, sure. Uh, things, have been a little, things have been a little crazy. Over. Obviously, guys, you know, we've all been adjusting to COVID. We hope you guys are staying safe and healthy and, you know, we have all you guys in our thoughts and we love you for supporting us and your continued support. We will continue to do what we can for you. Danny, sign him off, baby. The... Oh, wait a sec, Danny. Oh, that's what I was going to say. That's yeah. what I was going to say. We got so <laughs> almost did it again. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. uh, we got some. We forgot to do it last week, but we got some VMs in our DMs this week. They're actually. I didn't, I didn't want to cut you off. Because no, you cut were, me off. No, you were crushing that outro. Cut me off. Cut me off. I, I don't care. Uh, we do got some uh, VMs in our DMs. They're not really VMs because they're not voice messages. So make sure you guys get yours in for next week, uh, so we can get those bad boys in. But we do have some questions to talk about this week. Uh, the first one here on Instagram is from our buddy, uh, Brown Panther 97. So shout out to Black Panther's brother, Brown Panther, I guess. Yes. Yes. Queen. Hey, yo, Frankie, yo, Danny, what it do, baby? I just wanted to know. What it do, I baby? Bronx Hill. I just wanted to know, like, what y'all thought about that film, if y'all seen it, if you haven't. I just wanted to know, because, you know, you guys know a lot of good movies. We always have the same taste. Damn right. On, movies, on which movies we like, on which we don't. I just wanted to know y'all thoughts on that. First of all, I love you. the Bronx Tale. Thank yeah. you, Brown Panther. Yeah. Oh, that's it's a great movie. I mean, I don't think there's any doubt about that. Um, f- filmed Sun- in my high school in Queens, in Astoria, Queens, baby. Sonny had five fingers, but he only used three. This is the thing. I think that the first time I saw that movie, it took me like one or two watches to really figure out how good it was because the Booker Man is a sucker. You don't see De Niro in such a vulnerable role in his movies. You know what I mean? So they don't see- love him. They fear him. Seeing him kind of play backseat to Chaz Palmateri, uh, I, I I think it's great. If you go in expecting like a hardcore mob movie, it's definitely not. You know what I mean? It's more about like just like this kid's relationship with his dad and how that interferes with, you know, organized crime in his area. No, you just can't leave. <laughs> Can you just quote this all day? She's one of the good ones. If she doesn't reach over and unlock the door, she's not one of the good ones. Got more. Think Mickey Mantle cares about you? <laughs> I actually had someone ask me that one day. I was talking with uh, my dad's friend. Put him in a fucking bathroom. My I dad's don't want his eyes looking at my money. <laughs> my dad's friend. I was kind of busting his ass about. I can't do coffee cake. Are you gonna let me tell the story or? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I asked him, I was like, oh, he's like, oh, I'm a Mets fan. I was like, fuck, the Mets suck. Blah, blah, blah. This was like, oh, four, oh, five, or whatever. He's like, oh, who are you a fan of? I was like, the Yankees. He goes, oh, the Yankees pay your fucking, he goes, you think the Yankees care about you? The Yankees pay your bills? I'm like, no. I was like, did the Mets pay yours? He goes, yeah, that's why I'm a fan of the Mets. I was like, oh, okay. Scumbag. It's kind of fire, though. Yeah, but like, that's a loaded question. Like, he knows the answer. He's going to be a dick about it. Hey, man. Put him in a fucking bathroom. Put him in a bathroom. I can't uh, do the cake. And then we got one more. So thanks to our friend Brown Panther. And then we got one more. It's not a VM, but it is a question. It is a question from our buddy uh, Jaris C O three J A R Y S C O three on Instagram. He asked us uh, to talk about WrestleMania a little bit. uh, Was last week uh, WrestleMania thirty six that Boneyard match with AJ Styles and the Funhouse match with Cena and Wyatt. Uh, What do you guys think, Uh, Danny? What do you think? Okay, so the Boneyard match starts out. AJ Styles had a great entrance. It was pretty dope. Comes out in the hearse. It's ready to go. And then, like, this was like American Badass Undertaker. So he came in on the motorcycle. I was fully expecting to hear Kid Rock, but there was, like, some weird, like, generic fucking music. I didn't know who it was. Um, But it was filmed really well. It was just outrageous. Yeah, like, the OC came there and they were fighting with the Undertaker, and then like he choke slammed them off a roof. I then- have to say, when it comes to certain things, I I suspend my disbelief only when it comes in wrestling, only when it comes to the Undertaker and Bray Wyatt. So the yes. fact that they had the cinematic matches that were kind of crazy, wild, all over the place, I thought that was a really smart, fun move because it allowed them to do cool stuff that made sense with the characters. And it buys Taker time for next year's Mania, probably. Yeah. Um, 
So he doesn't have to have a match and get hurt. But he'll probably big, do like, he'll probably do like a Saudi Arabia show though. Big badass American badass uh, Taker fan here. I was he grew, he grew on me. He I loved him as soon as I heard Roland by fucking Limp Bizkit, I was all in. I know he had the one before that where it was like, you done it now. You got my thing to stay. Well, yeah, that, yeah. I'm but, good. Um, and then he had the, I am the American bad. Hey, hey. But how do you beat Limp Bizkit rolling? That song. You don't. That song is iconic. Um, yeah. But uh, love that they did American Badass Undertaker. It made, it's, it kind of made sense with the story. It was like he was like putting the gimmicks away because he was like, you went after my wife. Yeah, once he starts talking about his wife, you know, American Badass is coming. Yeah, so uh, I thought it was really like it was, it made sense to have those produced the way that they were. And I thought it, it actually, they were pretty fun. Same yeah. with Cena and Wyatt. You know, yeah, I you think- got to see all the thugonomics. You got to see the prototype. You got to see everybody. It was cool. I thought it was fun. It, it kind of gave us, and Cena gave- put someone over, which they say he never does. I mean, he, he, didn't for a long time, but now he has in the last couple of years. Yeah. Um, I I enjoyed both. I thought that they were both fun. I will say though, I'm ready to get back to wrestling with a live audience. Yes, it's called a promo, kid. You want to be the big dog? You're gonna to have to learn how to do it. Ooh, look at you go! You spitting spitting facts out there, huh? Son Roman, right there. Yeah. You forget how good of promos John Cena is. Well, well, the thing with him is, and it's bled into his acting career is he's so like rehearsed and I can yes. tell. Um, so it takes right. away a little bit from me, but all Just right. Yeah. So they're, they're a little different this week, but those are the VMs and our DMs guys. Get them in next week for submission. Yeah. Make them stanky. Uh, I signed off already before I'll do another one. F Alvarez eight zero eight five on Twitter. And oh, on you Twitch. get two. Damn right. I do the Frank Alvarez on Instagram, uh, stank podcast, Twitter, uh, Instagram, go check it out. Uh, Danny Lo Priori on Instagram and Twitter. Uh, listen, there's a couple things here. Uh, Frankie, I know that you shared on your Instagram about, uh, you know, the people working construction and how these sites need to be shut down. Whoever gave you a problem with that, you're going to have to have a problem with me too because I agree with you. People need, should be home with their families. It's not essential work right now. People are okay. People should be home with their families and not getting sick. Uh, the other thing too, I wanted to say, I want to thank all the patrons for sticking it out with us through COVID-19 and all the fans of the stank. Uh, you guys are greatly appreciated, especially going through all this stuff right now. We're happy to be able to bring a little bit of light to you guys every Friday, make you guys chuckle with some fucks and some shits and, and fuck me oh music, yeah. music, TV, television. Uh, but, uh, yeah. And, uh, you know, um, and I'm sure, Frankie, you're just as thankful to have me in your life. Damn right I am, baby. All right, Road Boys, signing off. This has been The Stank. And <laughs> go! Oh, yikes. Yeah.